Arizona and Arizona State from Tempe, Arizona. Well, ABC's college football presents one of the nation's oldest rivalries. The Arizona out of your screen against Steph. Man that you just saw equal out against John McEnroe. Eight, and well, he right. won Good. two matches already today, Arthur. He lost three yesterday, but he's making a comeback. He is making one hell of a comeback. I mean, we thought he was dead meat, as they say. <laughs> After playing yesterday, he was just not in tune with the court. Just couldn't find the, the range nor the direction. Today, he's just a different player. First point of the match, Edberg serving to Cash. Somebody behind Edberg is in the champagne tables, actually. I wonder if that's Donna. No, it's not. Taking their seat. Just kidding. Double fault, that'll cost Edberg $2,000. Now, each player is staked $250,000 going into this event. Now, each played the other player yesterday on Friday, and today they are again playing each other in round-robin matches. They played one set. The winner is the first to get 15 points, and the winner of the match will get $30,000 onto his total and taken off his opponents. Must have been a bounce happened before to Pat Cash in that area of the court. I should tell you, in addition to that, that each point has a $200 value, and depending on the number of times the ball crosses the net, well, the dollar values go up each time. And then, of course, you get dollar values also placed on serves and double faults. One point all. They call that an ace, so they give Edberg 2,000. Cash has 2,000 in rally points. They cancel each, out, each other out, of course. And we were talking about the importance of the rally points. Edberg has lost more money in rally points, $22,000, than any other player. Lendl has won more money in rally points, $16,600, and that is really making a difference. One of the difficulties with the system is that when other sports have tried different versions of scoring, it's yeah. something that the average player could go out in a public park and try. Yeah. But you can't go out and try this, especially with the rally points. You can do it with the aces and double faults, but you're not going to be able to count in your, in your head how many times the ball passes over the net. I agree. And, and, and so in that, in that sense, uh, it's not transferable, so to speak, from the professional ranks to uh, your local club or the public park. If you took that element out of it, though, of course it would be. Yes. Listen, with my game, I'd hesitate to play for money anyway. <laughs> McEnroe over Cash this morning, and then Edberg over Lendl, and Edberg over McEnroe as well. And what that translates to, in my mind, is that Edberg comes into this match with two wins behind him. Cash has lost one already. So I think Edberg is on the ups. And make it tough for Pat Cash, and he leads 4-2 now in this match. Well, the way things look right now, and we are viewing the fifth match of the six match sequence for today. Linda looks like he's going to make it, even if he loses the next match. Good court coverage. Cash got there, but tried a delicately placed backhand cross court, and Edberg was waiting for it, or at least he looked like he was waiting for it. Cash didn't get it in.
Edberg, in three matches yesterday, lost 115,000 and change. Ooh, he very seldom loses backhand volleys like that. One of the best on this tour right now. In fact, one of the players took a poll of the best strokes. 5-3 for Edberg, and we'll be back with more of the stakes match in a moment. Scored just short of 200,000. There are the overall point standings. Now, Lendl at 296, Cash at 285. McEnroe has 218, Edberg 199. The only other match to be played in the round robin is between McEnroe and Lendl. So, Arthur, Ooh. as you look at the total prize money, it is going to be difficult, not impossible, but difficult for either Stefan Edberg or Pat Cash to, uh, uh, Stefan Edberg rather, or John McEnroe to overtake Cash or Lindell. Yes, it's going to be very difficult for Edberg to overtake either one of the players, Lindell or Cash, but McEnroe could possibly do it. Edberg, I think, has no chance, almost no chance. He must be wondering what he's got to do to redeem himself because he lost three yesterday. And if he wins this today, he will have won all three, but the rally points have made a big difference. The rally points, of course, being, well, two things, the aces, the double faults, and then the number of times the ball crosses the net and who ends up winning the point. Well, it, Cash is looking out for John McEnroe. So, in fact, this is a critical match for Pat Cash. Yes. If Cash loses this badly and John McEnroe wins big, McEnroe will overtake him. That's long. Seven, four, Edberg. Edberg, I think, can uh, make his bookings to the Masters next week. <laughs> you know... Look, what could potentially happen, you know it, is that they could play one very long rally that goes on for 50 points. That's not going to happen. No, it's not, but it's <laughs> no. the potential it's, is yes, there. Yes, <laughs> it's possible, but it's not going to happen. This is not a clay court. There you go. Uh, I'm just on talking, the top. I'm just talking theory. 7-4 for Edberg. And he's serving. Edward, by the way, is an Olympic gold medalist. He played in the exhibition LA Olympics. And of course, next year, the Olympics will feature tennis as maybe one of the main attractions of the it event. <laughs> well, Cash is not playing it like he's worried about John McEnroe, but I'm sure John is waiting in the wings with his uh, pocket calculator <laughs> trying to figure out if if uh, if Cash loses badly here and if John plays well, he's got a shot. Yesterday, Edberg didn't have an ace. He served three double faults, three matches. He lost 115,000, but he's recouped at least half of that, starting out with his stake of 250. And I'll remind you, if you have just joined us, that Edberg really was, has not been well for about 10 days and said that he was down and out as a result of something that he ate actually in L.A. before he went down to Mexico and that he did not have a chance to practice for something like 10 days, got here and practiced just for about half an hour before the start of play yesterday. That is about as crisp a backhand volley as you'll see any place. Cash, of course, gets to the net so very quickly. Takes him about five steps, and he's about a yard inside the service line for his first volley. Cash serving 5-10 in points. Edberg has had trouble on this side of the court. We talked about the possibility of him stepping in a bit more to get the ball before it rises too high. Oh. Solid volley. 
Early from Stefan Edberg. 11-5 now. Edberg was a finalist at Indian Wells. Becker beat him there. He got to the final in Borstad, where Nystrom beat him. In Montreal, he was a finalist, the Canadian. Lendl beat him there, but he had beaten Boris Becker in the semi-final there, and that really, I think, turned his whole career around because he beat Becker the following week in Cincinnati, and he had not beaten Becker in seven tries going into that Canadian Championship. Won two Grand Slam singles titles and two Grand Slam doubles, both with Yari. And Cash is a bit ahead of it. Again, because he swung too soon. Look at the reach, the author of Edberg. Yes, I mean, he, he really gets up way up, up in the air. Flick that backhand volley back down the line. Reminded me of Stan Smith. He used to put those balls away on a faster surface, but this is a slow Supreme Court laid atop a clay hard true surface. Here he jumps up, flicks it down the line, and cashes ahead of it for the error. Cash making the return again and drawing the Edberg error. And now let's change things just a little bit. Edberg is still way ahead. Seven points, in fact. 12 points to five. This first serve percentage cash is just nowhere near what he was yesterday. Yesterday he was at 73% winning on first serve points, on, on all service points rather. Edberg will serve one more, and then Cash will serve three. Well, when we come back, Pat Cash will serve three points. And, well, we'll see how it goes. It's 13-7. Stefan Edberg, 13-7 for Edberg. You see Edberg now over $200,000. He started with a stake of 250, of course. Lendl, well, he's got 296. Cash just behind him. But Cliff, and I'll talk about what's a bit more important right after this point. Seven points for Cash, 13 for Edward. Cash serving with the sun at his back. Cliff, there is now roughly a $63,000 differential between Pat Cash and John McEnroe. If Cash loses this match, 30,000 plus his bonus points that he loses and John McEnroe wins, we're talking about a difference that's really gonna be made up in rally points. I think you're right. This is match point for Edberg. And Edberg wins it. 15 to seven. So the question now is just how well McEnroe can do when he comes back to play against Lendl because he does have a shot at getting to tomorrow's final, which we'll see live on ABC at 4 p.m. in the afternoon. That'll be best of five sets, 21 points each. We'll be back. McEnroe are on court. See, Lendl nearly $300,000. He started out with 250, of course. Cash is right back where he started at 250,000 and change. Edberg 234, McEnroe 218. It is McEnroe and Lendl to follow at courtside. Donna Devarona with Stefan Edberg. Donna? Stefan, yesterday after the play, you were really depressed. It was like you had a little black cloud over your head. You've got to feel much better today, and I suppose you wish you'd played yesterday like you played today yeah absolutely i had uh, had a bad day yesterday so it looked like i was going to lose everything but uh, i played well today i won three matches but it wasn't enough and you're going to go home with some money you're not going to make the final but you may wind up with more money than the second place player in the final tomorrow no oh, that's true that's one good thing about it but it would have been nice to be in the final but uh, you can't do anything about it. I'm quite satisfied anyway. What adjustments did you make to make the comeback today? Well, I went out to practice uh, one, off, one hour after my matches yesterday, really to work hard because uh, I played awful yesterday and, uh, and I played a lot better today. Okay, thank you. Now back to you, Cliff. Thank you, Donna. It is Lendl McEnroe. They're warming up on court already. And this is a very 